Ayan, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Ako din po ay nagagalak na makasama po kayo sa araw na ito. And it is really our great joy and deep joy po na makabalik dito sa Tugigaraw. Talaga pong excited po kami, by hook or by crook, we need to go home. And dahil po bilang anak po ng Tugigaraw and ni Pastor Danny spiritually, it is always the joy of a child to go back sa kanyang tatay, spiritual uh, father. At indeed, God did not fail. Dahil nga po kaninang praise and worship, pagdating pa lang po namin dito, And even in our praise and worship kanina, I really feel the joy. Maging po sa testimony po ninyo, talaga. Kung pwede lang. Di ba? Wawawin, nandito na po ako. Di ba? But you know, I am really so, so um, encouraged by the way po, yung how our our sisters testify. And I, nung, nung tinatanong nga, sino po testify? Maybe some of you are very reluctant. But I know you have also your own testimonies. Amen. And I know na sa day na ngayon, it's the last Sunday of this year. I brace yourself because I believe God has still more things prepared sa atin. Amen. Kung akala natin tapos na, there is more. Amen. Kaya naman po sa araw na ito, I want to talk about How this, having this fullness of joy at kung paano nga po natin isa-celebrate yung taon, yung victory na binigay ng Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin. And I want to invite everyone to read with me in Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 to 13. Ayan, pasensyaan nyo na pong aking boses. For the last two days na nandito po kami, ay punong-puno din po ng kasiyahan ang aming mga puso. For all the things that God is allowing us to, to experience dito po sa Tugigaraw. And also in behalf of Manila, ay pinapaabot din po nila ang kanilang pagbate. Ayan, na ngayong araw na ito po ay kasama ko po sila sa pagbate, sa victory po ninyo sa buong taon ng 2021. So I want to invite everyone to please open your Bibles in Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 to 13. At ito po ay isa sa popular na verse sa atin pong mga puso. And in here, sabi po ni Paul, we need to rejoice in the Lord always. Um, hawak nyo po ba ang inyong outline? <laughs> Ayan. Uh, pagpasensyaan po natin, I think we'll not be using that outline. Because as I was praying a while ago, God is giving us a message that we need to continue to rejoice in our victories. And that is our title sa araw na ito. We need to continue to rejoice in our victories because the Lord is not done yet sa ating mga buhay. At naririnig ko po yung mga testimonies po kanina, grabe yung excitement. But for others, ano po kaya yung ating feeling? Maybe some of us na nakikinig po kanina, buti pa sila. Ano naman kaya yung testimony ko sa akin? Ang hirap siguro po din natin na isipin, ano kaya din yung testify ko? How many of us here has their victories in life? Amen. Lahat po tayo ay pinagtagumpay na ng Panginoon. But some of us are still reluctant to declare that we are victorious. Bakit po kaya? Yeah. Some of us are not full dun po sa pag -re rejoice Marahil magtatanong po tayo, bakit kaya yun ang topic ni Pastora? Continue to rejoice in victories. I was asking the Lord, Lord, what is your message for Tugigaraw? As God is saying to us, we need to rejoice in our victories. Dahil po hindi lahat ng ating katagumpayan, minsan po eh, yun yung ina-expect po natin na tagumpay. Sometimes yung victory po natin, hindi po natin alam na victory na pala yun. Pero it is the victory that God has already prepared for us. And we need to, we are ought to rejoice in it. At kailangan po nating i-celebrate. Especially on this time, marayo sinasabi natin, grabe naman tumiming si Lord. Magtatapos na yung year. It's a year, it's a year of victory. Pero ngayon pa po yung time na kailangan po nating lisanin ang lugar na ito. Well, I, nung pagdating po namin dito, talagang nalungkot din po kami. Kasi nga, oh, we see the church. At unti-unti po na binabaklas. 
Pero alam niyo po, dati kasama niyo din kami to pray. Praying to put up this place. And we have known yung desire, yung pananampalataya po ng bawat isa. Yung ginawa po natin to build up this church. But now in the year of victories 2021, we are about to remove or sirain po ang lugar na ito. And yet, it's a victory 2021. But God is saying to us, God is giving us the reasons to be joyful sa mga panahon ngayon. No matter what we see, no matter what we are experiencing. And maybe some of us are still have yung anxiety, yung fear on this coming year. Lalo na po, hindi po natin alam kung hanggang kailan po yung restrictions. Hanggang kailan po tayo magkaroon ng freedom na magsama-sama po sa lugar na ito. Hanggang kailan po yung freedom po natin from the pandemic. And maybe some of us, mandun pa rin po tayo sa point na nangangarap pa rin po tayo na magkaroon ng victory. Meron pa rin po tayong pinagpe-pray na sana po ay mapagtatagumpayan po natin. But until today, Lord, December ko na. Nagtestify na ang lahat. Ano naman sa akin? Maybe some of us are praying for a lot of things and things sa ating buhay na nais po natin mapagtagumpayan. But until today, until today ay hindi pa po natin na-receive. But God is saying to us, we need to continue to rejoice in our victories because God has given us the victories in the, in the past, even today, and even in the next Years to come, God will continue to make His church victorious. At sabi po ni Paul in Philippians chapter 4, Rejoice in the Lord always, and I will say it again, Rejoice! Let your gentleness be evident to all, and the Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request. To God. Now let us just come, bakit po ba ito sinabi ni Paul sa mga panahon na iyon? Because during those times, the church is in turmoil. And even Paul is in prison. Si Paul na masigasig po sa templo ng Painon and in the service of God, binigay niya po lahat ng kanyang buhay sa Panginoon. And yet, during those times that Paul wrote Philippians to the church of Philippi, siya din po ay nasa prison cell. Literal na nasa prison cell. And even the church during those times, there is division in the church. There is a great discouragement sa church. Bakit? Ultimo po yung leaders po nila nag-aaway-aaway. And there's a lot of false prophets during those times and they are confusing the people. And even the people begin to be unfaithful sa Panginoon dahil nga po marami po silang nakikitang discouragement. Nakikita nila na yung pastor po nila ay nakulong. Even yung mga leaders po nila, they were divided. But Paul spoke to them. We need to rejoice for such a time as this. What is there to rejoice? What is there to rejoice when you begin to see that these things are happening? Okay? What is to rejoice in Victories 2021? Pero pinapalayas tayo. What is to rejoice na lahat po nung binild up mo, lahat po nung, nung ginawa mo ay parang mawawala na lamang? Of course, we all have victories, but some of us also have our failures and disappointments in our lives. Just like po ang church during sa time ni Paul. But Paul is telling to them, in that very situation, we need to rejoice. We need to rejoice. And this is not just the rejoicing kasi tradition na po. Year-end, nako maraming parlor games. Year-end, nako ito na yung gathering ng mga family. Year-end, nako ito na yung time ng holidays, gift-giving. Kaya excited yung iba na makareceive. Yeah? But Paul is telling to us, to rejoice in our victories is not just about the season and the time. Paul is saying that even in our discouragement, we need to rejoice. We need to have the heart na tayo po ay matagumpay. Hindi dahil Christmas season, New Year na. Did you know that to rejoice is an everyday calling and command from God? Hindi dahil po 
meron po tayong mga thanksgiving na nangyari. Mamaya, I heard my thanksgiving ang youth. But you know, meron po ako nakausap, some of our members in Manila. Uy, excited kayo umuwi ah. Kasi during those times, is the peak of this season of thanksgiving. Pero alam mo sa kanila, half-hearted sila. They are excited to go home to spend time with their families, but some of them are very fearful and anxious. Kasi daw po, ang time ng New Year, ng Christmas, yun din po yung time na naglalasing yung mga kapatid niya, yun yung, yung time na nagabulan sila ng taga, yun po yung time na may drama sa bahay. ba? Diba? Ilan na po sa atin ang nakaranas? ba? Diba? Two days pa lang po ako na mamaga na yung mata ko sa iyak. Yeah? Because we have all our stories. Na minsan hindi lamang po ito nakukuha ng parlor games. Hindi po ito nakukuha at napupunan ng ating mga celebration dahil it's a season of celebrating. But we need to understand why we need to rejoice. Bakit kailangan po nating maging masaya? Una, dahil ito ay sinasabi ng Painoon sa atin. And God alone speaking about this is our assurance na kailangan po talaga nating mag-celebrate. And this is what Paul is saying. On those time, in those time na sila po ay nakakaranas po ng difficulty, we need to rejoice. And that brings us in our first point. In verse 4 to 7, continue to pray with joy in the presence of God. Bakit po tayo mag-rejoice ngayon? Why we are celebrating this year as a victory 2021 na samantalang parang wala po tayong makitang victory natin. Or naiinggit na lang po tayo sa mga testimony ng iba. Or somehow we don't see a tangible victory na pwede din po nating ipagmalaki. But the Lord is saying we need to continue to re- pray with joy in His presence. Ano po yung sinasabi ni Paul dito? That in those times ng kanilang difficulties, they need to still be joyful in prayer. Ilan po sa atin dito, we have celebrated the Christmas as the world does. And we really welcome the presence of God. We really pray together as one family. We really recognize that, Lord, ikaw yung rason why we are. We are celebrating this. Because that is one thing that God requires from us. That we need to pray joyfully before Him. At yan po ang sinasabi ni Paul. Rejoice in the Lord. Hindi po niya sinabing magsaya ka lang. Hindi pwedeng, come on, we need to celebrate. It's a make-believe. Or we need to deny the facts that 2021 ay naging hindi rin madali sa bawat isa. Or meron po tayong mga problema. But to rejoice here means we need to declare by faith. We need to declare. And as you declare, as you rejo- rejoice in God, it is a prayer that we make before the Lord. It is a worship that we make before the Lord. Sabi po niya, rejoice in the Lord because rejoicing is only found in God. Pumunta nga po kami, sarami po namin mga Christmas na parties na pinuntahan. Pero alam mo, in those parties, I cried. Kasi kahit po on those times ng celebration, ang tao, marami pa rin po tayong emptiness. Marami pa rin po tayong mga kalungkutan na minsan hindi lang po nakukuha na okay, it's a Thanksgiving time. Masaya lahat, maingay lahat, may paputok. My gift giving. But inside us, there is still things that we are praying for. Meron pa rin po tayong battle. Tapos na ang 2021, nasana yung victory 2021. May nakausap nga po ako eh. He's so is discouraged that somehow parang hindi na siya mahal ng Panginoon dahil wala na po siyang nakikitang tama sa buhay po niya. But I was crying with him. Kasi in my heart, I had it in my heart. Kung alam niya lang yung joy na meron kung meron siyang Panginoon. But in his heart, he doesn't believe in God. He doesn't have yung reason to celebrate that day. At palagi na lang po siyang lasing. Palagi na lang siyang malungkot. For some of us, we are rejoicing. But there are many people that are still in this day are struggling. Amen. At minsan hindi po natin yan nakikita. 
Okay? It doesn't mean na tayo maingay. Eh, we are already joyful people. Amen? And Paul is saying to them, we need to rejoice in the Lord. Four times na sinabi po sa Philippians chapter 4, in the Lord. He is not just saying, we need to rejoice. Come on, it's a season of rejoicing. But we need to rejoice in the Lord. That means in the midst of God. Because we know that God is with us. The presence of God is with us. And rejoicing, hindi lang po ito dahil po okay ang mga nangyayari sa buhay natin. Hindi dahil po na-establish na tayo or maganda po yung mga nakikita po natin. But rejoicing is what God wants to experience inside and outside. It is a state of mind na nais po ng Painoon na maranasan po natin. When we say in means in the middle of Christ, through Christ, and whatever is the circum circumstance, we need to abide in Christ by faith and in the power of the Holy Spirit, we are in Christ. And so wherever we are, God is with us. Whatever we are experiencing sa mga panahon ngayon, Alam po natin, we are rejoicing. Kahit nakikita natin na wala yung bintana. We are anxious of what's gonna happen next year. First, balik na naman tayo sa Philippine Lumber. ba? Iniwan natin pero binalikan. O ba? Meron po pala talagang second chance. ba? And I know love is sweeter the second time around. Yeah? And the, the, the latter rain is greater than the former rain. And I see that. I see that that is what God is revealing unto me. While we were worshiping, I see in my spirit the people go up and stream up in the church. Sabi ng Pahino, siguro hindi kayo pang first floor. The Lord has to bring us up, bring us into a greater faith. And we need to go up in a greater faith sa ating church. Amen? Because it's not about the place, but it is the presence of God. That's why we rejoice. Saan man po tayo, to Gigaraw, Manila, whether we are in sickness or in good health, whether we, we have the abundance o kulang po yung pera natin, wala po tayong panghanda mga, sa mga panahon ngayon, we need to learn to rejoice. Because it is not about the gifts. It's not about the gathering. But it's the presence of the Lord in us. And that we are in God that we are rejoicing today. That's why yun palamang po, tayo po ay matagumpay na. Alam nyo po yung in Christ, pag wala po kayo sa Panginoon, everything is chaotic. Yeah? Kahit anong gawin po natin, even if we work so hard, 24-7, we want to be good for our partners. Kahit po mag-aral kang mabuti, minsan meron pong limitations ang tao. Kaya po minsan hindi po natin maisip kung paano nga po ba matuwa o magalak o maging masaya. ba? Because deep within us, meron pa rin po tayong mga problema, may mga bagay pa rin po tayong mga iniinda. But know that the presence of God alone, it will change things. If you are with God, you are in the winning team. If you are with the Lord, nandun po yung assurance ng promise ng Painon sa bawat isa sa atin. And so we need to continue to pray with joy sa presence ng Panginoon. When we are in Christ, our mentality changes and our views and perspective changes. Amen? Dahil nga po nasa Panginoon na po tayo. We're not just creating our joy. Sabi po nila, you need to create the, your joy. But no one can create our own joy. Because only God can give us the pureness and the fullness ng joy sa ating buhay. That's why nandun po yung time that we really need to desire for the presence of God. Whether if we are still in our battle or we are already victorious. Because every day will be a battle for us. And 2022 ay darating na naman. Ano po ang next? What's in store for us? Maybe some of us are anxious. Sa amin, sa Manila, anxious din kami. Hanggang kailan kaya kami din sa place po namin? Yeah? Hanggang kailan po tayo makakabayad? Hanggang kailan po tayo natin mararanasan? 
yung abundance ng Panginoon. Because in life, there is no certainty. Wala po tayong sure na yan. Anything can change. Just like today. Di ba? Kung kailan po nasetal na po tayo, tapos na lahat. Tapos sabi ni Lord, anak, we need to move. Di ba? We need to move. Naalala ko tuloy yung mga Israelites po. Every time na lang, every time they are settled down, anak, let's go, let's move. Minsan nagre-reklamo po sila, but they still have to follow. But at the end, God gave them victory. Subalit nung una, hindi po nila yan nakikita. Nung una, nagre-reklamo po sila. Walang makain, walang tubig, ba't mo pa, pa kami pinalabas? Okay na kami doon sa Egypto, pero pala meron pong pinaprepare ang Painoon na greater sa kanila. And all God wants for us is to continue to be joyful and pray in His presence. Enjoy yung presence po niya. And in verse 6 to 7, sabi po niya, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Point two, sub point two is pray continually and trust God in all things. Trust God in all things. After all, it is the Lord who is in control of everything. Kaya po niya sinasabi po dito that we need to pray. We need to pray with thanksgiving. Hindi po lang siya prayer with groaning. Pero sabi po dito, we need to, pr pr to pray in petition and in thanksgiving. That's why, that means whenever we pray, whenever we cry out to God, it's not just a cry of groaning, but it's a prayer and it's a cry that is based on trust. Based on trust. Na alam po natin that as we continue to rejoice, as we continue to pray and be joyful in our lives, the Lord will continue to move sa ating buhay. May narinig po ako, mahirap maging masaya kasi yung sobrang saya mo, biglang may nangyayaring masama. Have you ever heard about this? Kaya yung iba na takot na lang maging masaya, medyo kalma lang. Dapat yung okay lang na kasiyahan. Huwag ka masyadong masaya kasi may kapalit yan. But this is not the true joy that God wants us to experience in our lives. Sabi po ni Paul in Philippians chapter 4, we need to rejoice how greatly. Kaya po si Ate Tess ka na, oh, talaga lang. Yes! Kung pwede lang po nating ipagsigawan. Because not everyone has their own victory. Not everyone can see what we see. So that's why we have to really rejoice greatly sa ating buhay. Because we know not just that the presence of God is among us, but we know that His presence is going to move mightily sa ating buhay. Amen? Which that's why when we pray, hindi lang po dahil last resort na natin ang Panginoon. When we come before God, when we speak before God, hindi lang po dahil in need tayo. But this is based on trust. We pray because we know that He hears, He listens, and is gonna move sa ating mga buhay. And so that's why even in our time sa mga panahon ngayon, we need to continue to joyfully Pray sa Panginoon and trust that He is going to hear our prayers. And when we pray, sabi po dito ni Paul, we should not be anxious. Because when we pray because we are anxious, we are not faithful enough. When we pray because we are fearful, it's different. But when we pray because we are assured and secured, That God is going to hear our prayers. Alam niyo parang nagsusumbong ka lang? Have you, have you ever asked ang ating mga magulang pag may kailangan po tayo? Pa, kailangan ko po ng ganito. Please, sige na kasi. Please. ba? Diba? Minsan wala pa tayong trust dun sa ating mga magulang. ba? Diba? Pero iba po yung, yung pa, kailangan ko ng ganito ha, bukas. This is the kind of prayer. And this is the kind of security and faith na nais po ng Painon sa bawat isa po sa atin. It is a prayer, bakit po tayo we can be joyful? Because we trust that the Lord is going to move mightily sa ating mga buhay. 
And when we begin to have that faith, the joy of God, sabi po dito, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When we do that, when we have that trust sa Panginoon, yung peace po niya ay nasa atin. Alam niyo po kung ano ibig sabihin ng peace? The original meaning of peace is the blessing of God is upon us. It's the peace. We can be assured, we can be secured na ang Panginoon po, He is going to give you your victory. Your victory. Yung iba po sa atin, nagpe-pray ng boyfriend, nagpe-pray na sana Lord, mag-excel naman ako sa aking studies. Pero hanggang ngayon, palakol pa rin. But be excited because God is going to do and promote you. Amen? Yung time po na tayo ay nasa lower state ng ating mga buhay. Doon po, God is setting us up for a blessing. That's why we are not afraid. When, even in this time of victories, 2021, parang hindi po natin nakikita pa yung victory. Or baka nandun na, pero hindi lang po natin nakikita. But the Lord tells us we need to be joyful. And we need to pray with joy and thanksgiving. Bakit po minsan sa ating buhay we are anxious? Bakit po minsan marami pa rin po tayong sadness o problema sa buhay? Because we don't know how to give thanks. Or excited lang po tayo sa gift. How many of us here, we come in the party kasi we also have that excitement to give. Di ba? Excitement din po na, alam mo yun? To say na, binless kasi ako ng Lord eh. Di ba? Kasi that is thanksgiving. Pero yung pupunta ka sa party, ano kaya yung makukuha ko? Ano kaya yung marireceive ko? Di ba? Ikaw lang yung gusto mo mag-receive. Di ba? Kailan naman kaya, Lord? Dati kasi sa family din namin, we are always the ones receiving. But this time, we see to it and we desire in our hearts. Na Lord, kami naman yung magbigay. Because when you give, it is thanksgiving. Because you declare that God has blessed you sa inyong buhay. And this is God moving sa ating buhay. And, and, and second point that I want to share is we need to continue to believe and to walk in faith. Paano po tayo magpapatuloy na mag-celebrate ng ating katagumpayan sa ating buhay in, as the year ends is we need to continue to believe and walk by faith. Sabi po ni Paul dito, Finally, brothers, and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such thing. Whatever you learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. So yung ating pong, ano nga po ba, on the way we, we think, sabi ko po kanina, to, to rejoice and to see and appreciate yung victories po natin. It is not a feeling, but it is a state of mind. It is the state of faith sa ating buhay. We rejoice, hindi lang po dahil may mga magandang nangyari, but we rejoice because Jesus is the reason why we are celebrating because we believe that God has prepared many things and blessings sa atin. Kaya sabi po ni Paul, kahit nung time na nagkakaroon na po ng sigalot sa church in Philippi, even on those times na wala na po silang security because their pastor is in prison, yung time po na hindi na po nakawatak-watak po ang church, sabi pa rin po ni Paul, we need to rejoice and keep our faith. Because it's not about what's happening around us that makes us joyful. But it is the faith that we have in God. Na hindi po dapat sila magpadala dun sa sitwasyon. That even if they see things are failing, they see the leadership failing, they see the failures in their lives, they need to still have that positive outlook in life. Kung ano po yung maganda, ano po yung true, sabi po ni Paul. And what is the truth? The truth is no matter what is the facts that we see. Pandemic, tanggalan po sa trabaho. Pero alam nyo, doon pa po na permanent yung iba. 
Nung kailan po nagkaroon ng, ng, ng pandemya, you know, sa Manila, that's how we grew. That was the time that we grew more. Nung time na nagkasakit po kaming lahat, dun po lumaki yung faith ng bawat isa. Dati ang prayer po namin, Lord, wag po kami magkaroon ng COVID. Please protect us. Talaga with groaning, talaga. Pero nagkasakit pa rin kami. And almost everyone in the church got sick. Does that mean na hindi po kami victorious? Does that mean that God didn't answer our prayer? But no, God has a purpose. Because it was on those trying times sa aming buhay sa Manila na doon po kami, doon po lumaki yung faith namin. Doon po kami nakaroon ng courage. Virus ka lang. Anak kami ni Lord. Noong nakavirus na po kami, wala na kaming takot. Because we see, we have overcame. Even the power of sickness, even the power of death, we have overcame. At ito po yung nagpalaki ng pananampalataya po namin. At ngayon, whenever we go out, nandun po yung, yung, yung positive outlook po namin sa mga bagay-bagay. You know, even if sickness comes in our lives, we know that we have a God who heals. We know that we have a God that can turn things, yung situation po namin, into good. Whatever the enemy meant bad, God can turn it into good. At mas lalo po naming na-appreciate yung ways, yung kapangyarihan po ng Painoon sa aming buhay. Kaya po, minsan, wag po tayong matakot when problems come sa ating our lives, sa ating mga buhay. Kung tayo pinapalayas po dito, excited po tayo. Excited po ako kasi four floors yung binigay ni Lord. So I know na greater yung gagawin at dadalhin ng Painoon sa church na ito. I know, during the time of worship, nafe-feel ko po talaga ang presence ng Painoon. And one thing that God gave me is that He loves this church. He loves this church. Maybe some are discouraged on, on how things transpired or ended this year. May mga expect po tayo like this. Be battled really for the church. Yeah, and I know every one of you pray, kneel down, cry out to God. Pero hindi po na pangyari yung mga bagay po na pinagpe-pray po natin. But you see, God has His greater plan. Amen. May mas matinding pinaplano ang Painon. And we see And that's where we are putting our sight and our faith. At dun po natin nilalagay yung ating mga mata. That God is in control. God has a greater plan than the plan of men. Whatever is true, whatever is praiseworthy, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, that's what we think of. Pwede rin po tayong mag na Lord, bakit ngayon pa? Ang galing mo ring tumaymi. Lord, bakit ganyan? Bakit ako ganito, siya ganyan? Bakit sila, meron po silang tinatestify ako? Wala. Lord, bakit ganyan? We can choose to think about this. We can choose to compare ourselves to others. Or we can choose to glorify God on whatever even little things that we have. The Lord Paul tells us, and the Lord himself is telling us today, this is how we need to rejoice. We do not compare ourselves or judge ourselves. Siguro hindi ako mahal ng painoon kasi mas pinagpala niya si ganon. Di ba? Minsan takot na takot tayo sa Thanksgiving kasi ako man lang. We begin to compare ourselves because the way we set our eyes and our minds is bakit mas pinagpala siya kaysa sa akin? Ba't may ganun siya? Ako wala. Yeah? We always are looking on what we don't have, but we don't see kung ano yung meron po tayo. Wala akong bonus this year. Kaya hindi, hindi ako makapag-celebrate ng aking Thanksgiving. Pero nakalimutan mo, yung ikaw ay may trabaho is a victory. Because many in Metro Manila lost their job. Sa building na lamang po natin, maraming nagsarang kumpanya. 
But you know, in our members, walang nawalan ng trabaho. Magre-reklamo ka pa ba? There are many things po na ginawa ng Panginoon sa amin. Nagsara na ang mga kumpanya, income generating companies, but the church is still open. Nagtataka sila, inantay na lang po ata nila kaming mawala doon sa building. But the more, nakikita nila bakit itong church na ito, pupunta pa rin doon, bukas pa rin. Mas lalo po nilang nakikita kung ano yung ginagawa ng Panginoon. At kami din, lumalaki din po na ng palataya namin. Yeah? Kaya whenever we come to church, we look on Jesus. We look on to Jesus. Kahit marami nagsabi, wag na kayong pumunta, Mal- ma-COVID kayo, na-COVID nga naman kami talaga. Diba? But it is for a greater purpose ng Painon. Dahil nung kami po ay na-COVID, we have overcame not just the COVID and the sickness, but our fear. Sa Manila, walang gustong lumabas. May kakilala nga kami dun, ayaw lumabas. Nang two years na. Maraming na-depress. Marami pong umuwi. Maraming umalis. Maraming mga kwento sa Manila because pag dito po nagfe-fret po kayo, ay 200 na yung cases natin. Nako doon, 20,000 na hindi pa po kami takot. Kasi ordinary na lang po. Yeah, ordinary na lang. So makikita niyo the greater the struggle, mas lalong lumalaki po yung pananampalataya natin. So that means God is bringing us into a higher heights. Kaya naman po yung year na to eh, It's a different year. Amen? Sa dami po ng struggle ng church, matindi ang struggle ngayon. Yung pinaghirapan mo, di ba, nagpa-pledge pa tayo. Yung iba sa nyo, yung baon nyo lahat. Yung sweldo nyo, binigay nyo. But now, it is being taken away from us. Pero you know, God, mas matindi po yung balik as we only set our eyes on God. As we continue to think and believe by faith and walk in our faith. Dalhin ba tayo sa wilderness ng Painoon? Do not be afraid because He is bringing us into the promised land. He is bringing us into a greater place na hindi po natin na-imagine. Wala pa rin po ba kayong victories ngayong 2021? Wait and see. Prepare yourself because God has prepared greater things sa inyong buhay. And lastly is in Point in verses 10 down to 13, how to how do we maintain this joy? How do we maintain itong joy na binigay po sa atin ng Panginoon? Even if there is no assurance in the year, in the next year, kahit wala po tayong Alam yun, we feel na wala po siguro tayong security for this coming year. How can we maintain to have the joy in our lives? Third point is that we need to be continually be strengthened in the Lord to do all things. Continue, continually be strengthened in the Lord to do all things. Sabi po ni Paul dito, I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. And I'm not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstance. Alam ko kung paano maghirap at paano yumaman. Alam ko nung ako ay kulang at nagkulang, Doon sa time na sobra-sobra din. Because Paul was rich. Paul is a very smart man. Well accomplished. Subalit nung tinalikuran niya po ang lahat ng ito para sa Panginoon, naranasan niya din pong mabuhay sa tithes and offering ng mga tao. Dumating po pa po sa point na habang nagmi-ministry siya, kailangan niyang magtrabaho para lang masustain ang kanyang pangangailangan. And even in this time na kanya pong sinulat ang letter na ito sa mga Philippians, he is in prison at tinalikuran po siya ng mga church. Kaya nga sabi niya, natuwa siya. I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern. Because on those time na kailang kailangan niya ng tulong, wala pong tumutulong sa kanya. Iniwan nila siya. 
They are more concerned kung sinong mas magaling sa church. Si Yoda ba? Or si, sino yung nag-aaway? Or si Sin- Sintike? Nag-aaway-aaway sila. Pero yung pastor nila nandun, nakakulong. But when Paul begin to hear that the church nakakaroon na ng concern sa kanya, grabe po yung joy po ni Paul. Hindi lang dahil nagkaroon po sila ng concern, pero nakita po niya kung paano mag-move ang Panginoon. Hindi talaga siya iniwan ng Panginoon. But God made a way for Paul. God begin to transform and change the heart of the church na nakalimot po sa kanya. Nagsulat po siya ng time na ito. He was also very discouraged. He has no hope. Wala pong tao na makakatulong sa kanya. Instead, sakit pa sa ulo ang church during those times. But here we see, the Lord is doing something in the church kahit si Paul ay wala po dun. Kahit si Paul ay wala sa church. Nandun na nagmumove ang Panginoon and is changing the hearts of the people. And Paul is telling them na mas lalo po siyang natutuwa. Pero dati na po siyang natutuwa. Yeah? Nadagdagan lang po yung tuwa, yung galak ni Paul. Dahil po, kahit po iniwan siya ng church before. Kahit po tinalikuran siya ng kanyang mga spiritual na mga anak. He find the joy and the security in the Lord. He found po yung love, yung comfort. Dahil alam niya, even in the prison cell, the presence of God was with him. Kaya po yung kwento po nila, nung nag-worship po sila, God, alam po niyang kaya lang siyang pakawalan ng Panginoon. But him being in prison, meron pong plano ang Panginoon. May ginagawa at gagawin ang Panginoon. And so, dun po natin malalaman that the secret of being joyful is not just simply about money. It's not just simply about our career. Kung may asawa ka, sa Manila, maraming malungkot kasi single sila eh. Di ba malamig ang, ang Pasko namin? You know, there are many reasons, yeah, that the world will tell you that we can rejoice. Pero as people of God, as people of faith, our rejoy, rejoicing comes because yung presence ng Panginoon ay nasa atin. Because God is with us. And we need to know that our yung joy na ito ay mararanasan lang natin, yung victory ay mararanasan lang po natin through the Lord. We need to be strengthened in the Lord. Kasi bakit minsan hindi po tayo masaya? Bakit minsan hindi po natin na-appreciate ang mga, mga bagay sa ating buhay? Ay dahil hindi po natin nakikita ito. Dahil po there are things sa ating buhay na we are not in control. Minsan gusto po natin ganito, pero iba po ang nangyayari. And when these things happen, nandun po yung anxiety po natin. Nandun po yung fear ng bawat isa po sa atin. But know that as we trust in God and we find our strength in the Lord, kaya po natin ma-experience at mapapangyari po rin yung mga pangarap yung mga dinidesire po natin. Because God can make it and will enable us to experience it. Not on our own strengths, not on our own abilities, but through the strength that comes from the Lord. And this is what the Lord is saying to us. Even as we continue to journey this year and as we end this year, continue to hold on to God. Hindi po yung tayo ay naging victorious na. Kaya ko na to. Nagawa ko na to in the past. But God is saying to us, even as we enter in the year 2022, we continue to cling on to God. We continue to, to trust sa Panginoon. And that God is able to bless us in His own 
perfect way as we only trust him like Paul. Si Paul, bakit po yung joy niya hindi nababase sa tao? Hindi pa nababase kung malaya siya o hindi. Dahil yung joy, yung victory niya po ay nakasalalay sa Panginoon. And our God never change. If God is victorious in the beginning, He will be victorious till the end. If the Lord promised us joy in the beginning, He will give us joy even until the end. He assured us because He is the beginning and the end. He holds our future. He holds our everything. And in this, this is assurance na meron po tayo. Kaya po si Paul, ganun na lang po ang kanyang peace sa kanyang puso. Iniwan na po siya ng lahat. Pero nandun pa rin po na patuloy po siyang nangangarap, patuloy po siyang nag, nagsusulat ng letter sa church. He never give up on life. Hindi po niya sinabi, nandito na ako sa prison. Last day ko na ata to. Alam mo, nung na-COVID din po ako, I also have that heart. I begin to think, Lord, kung kukunin mo ako ngayon, then I better choose who's gonna be the next in line. Nung nag-struggle po ako dun sa aking room, no one can enter in that room for more than two weeks and I cannot get out from that room. And every night you have to struggle physically, spiritually, emotionally against death. Na every day kinukumit ko yung buhay ko sa Panginoon. Lord, if this is the day, then take me. I'm willing to go. Pero hindi eh. On those times, I, the more I felt the presence of God. The more na nung nawala po ang lahat ng tao sa paligid ko, dati masaya ako pag nasa ministry ako eh. Dati pag marami akong ginagawa, nako, iba yung tuwa ako. When I am with my disciples, grabe po yung tuwa ko. Pero dumating din yung sa time, three weeks, I have no one with me in the room but God and the presence of God alone. And nakikipag-battle po ako against death, against the sickness and disease, Against depression. Kasi I have nothing. Nowhere to go. Pupunta akong hospital, hindi ka tatanggapin. Kasi puno na sila. No doctor can come to help you because they themselves are afraid and are hiding. Bago po ako na, na, nakulong sa kwarto, naghanap pa po kami ng mga clinic, hospital. Alam niyo po, nakaka, nakakatawa. Kasi magpapadoktor ka, pero mas takot yung doktor. Anong sign and symptoms mo? Kasi we can only do it by appointment. May cough po ako. Ay, sorry. Hindi, no one will enter. They are already doctors. Dapat sila ang gagamot sa'yo. But they themselves have no cure of your disease. At takot pa sila kaysa sa'yo na may sakit. And on those three weeks, dun po na test. Kung paano nga po ako to remain hopeful and joyful. Kasi in the beginning, I kind of commit myself sa Panginoon at tinanggap ko yung sitwasyon ko na maybe this is my last sa mundong ibabaw. Pero alam nyo, every time po na, every night na o-overcome ko, mas lalo pong lumalakas yung aking pananampalataya. Even if you are physically sick, but in the spirit, your spirit becomes stronger. And then in the next days, you, I begin to battle. I begin to battle hanggang sa hindi rin ako makakanta. I can no longer speak kasi nga kailangan nyo pong habulin yung breath ninyo. Every second uh, counts. All I can do is to give thanks sa Panginoon. All I can do is to rejoice na Lord, thank you for today you give me another life. Every day you can only be joyful. You can only be thankful. And you begin to appreciate yung presence ng Panginoon sa'yo. Nothing more, nothing less. Because the world is not there for you. The doctors will not be there for you. No one to help you. Pero dun ko po na, na prove. That when all things fails in your life, there is one thing that will never fail. It is God. It is God and the presence ng Panginoon. That's why today I can also speak to you like this. 
in this time po that we are to enter the year 2022. Let us enter by faith and with hope and joy. Not in the thought na kailan kaya matatapos ang pandemic. 2022 na. Ang tagal-tagal na. Marami po tayong pwedeng ireklamo. Marami pong mga bagay na pwede po natin sabihin na, Lord, kailan naman? But we need to be thankful we can enter in the year 2022 because not many can enter this year. Wala ka pang victory? You entering in the year, in the next year, is a victory. Sa maraming tinamaan ng COVID, hindi ka natamaan. Sa maraming nawalan ng work, maraming nagre-reklamo ngayon, Lord, nawalan ako ng work. Pero alam niyo po, two years na silang walang work, buhay pa sila. Mas, mas matindi yung grace. Mas matindi po yung grace. It's just a matter of how we see things in our lives. Because sometimes we look on victory kung may tangible, lumaki pera, lumaki ang bank account. But you know, God has already gave you the victory if you only know it and if you only see it. And today, as we transfer in a new place, what I see, yung matagal po nating binuo, God can just build this again in just a day. Kaya palang ma-restore yung Philippine Lumber na ilang, minu- ilang, ano? ilang days lang. Da? But you know, this is, this is our anointing to restore the ruins. Amen? In Philippine Lumber, feeling natin old. It's a landmark. But the church, nakapupunta po tayo doon. Why? To restore, to renew that place, to bring the revival in that place. But first, we need to be revived. Paano po tayo marerevive kung hindi po tayo joyful? Kung hindi po tayo, yung heart po natin, hindi po rejoicing. Ay, mag-transfer kami next year. Grabe ko, kinuha ni. Yung nangyari sa amin talaga iba. But you know, when we enter in the year 22, 2022, we need to enter with joyful heart, with rejoicing, with hope, with faith. Amen. Enter in the year, continue to rejoice in your victories. Bakit po yan ang title natin? Because we don't rejoice in our past victories. We don't rejoice only with the victories we have today. But we are rejoicing even in the victories yet to come. That's why we need to brace ourselves. Is it possible? Oh, di ba? Walang sumagot? Natapos na ako nagturo. Di ba? Naku, babalik ulit tayo. First point. Because sometimes it's not easy for us to find that hope to enter in the new beginning. We have to start all over again. Yes. But in that starting, kasama natin ang painon. We may not have enough. We may not have so much. Pero dun po natin makikita na even in our nothingness, even na tayo po ay empty, even if wala po tayong mapanghawakan, physically, the Lord will build us up once again. The Lord will renew things from scratch. But it is God who is going to move. At makikita po natin yung galaw ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Hindi dahil mayaman tayo. Hindi dahil marami tayong pera o marami tayo o malakas tayo. But because it is God. At it is the Lord who is going to move sa ating buhay. Kaya naman po sa araw na ito, this is what I really want to give in us as our my fellow 611 dito po sa Tugigaraw is we continue to move forward with rejoicing because of the victories that we have experienced and we are experiencing today and we are about to experience. So that's why our spiritual vessel should be prepared. Are you prepared? O nandun ka pa rin sa thinking Parang wala pa rin ako victory, ah. Huh? Or we are moving forward, Lord. This is my vessel. What are you going to do in this coming year? Lord, fill this vessel. Now, I don't know kung ano din po ang struggle ng bawat isa sa atin. I don't know if 
some of us are still battling in our own fights, in our own struggles ating buhay. But today, God is desiring to see us, to see the joy sa atin. It's not the fake joy. It is not to deny the facts, but it is to simply declare that whatever is in us today, ano man po ang ating na-experience at ma-experience in the future, alam po natin na binigyan na po tayo ng katagumpayan ng Panginoon. Ngayon, again, after victory, we got vaccinated, naging open ang church. Another fear comes, yung Omicron, and they say this is more powerful. Yeah. Ngayon, ang Canada, they cannot party. Kasi yung kapatid ko po nandun. Because nag-spike ulit ang COVID. And these are well-established places. They have everything. They are strong. They are able. Pero sa atin, we have the Lord. Amen. We have God. And it's something that we need to rejoice about. Ito po yung isang bagay na kailangan po natin ipagdiwang. Because in His presence, we can have that peace. Amen? In His presence, we can have that joy. And so today, today as we stand in the presence of the Lord, let us not just simply remember yung mga magagandang bagay na ginawa po niya. But we start, o oh, diba, hindi pa po pumapasok ang taon, but we start to dream. Amen? We start to have hope. We start to think of things. Lord, ano yung gagawin? Be excited kung ano pong gagawin ng Panginoon sa ating buhay this coming year. Maybe some of us are still uncertain. Some of us are not yet fully convinced. Some of us are not yet secured kung saan po tayo ngayon. Marami pa rin po tayong mga pangarap at dinidesire sa ating mga puso. But today, we don't just simply look kung gaano ka-imposible ang mga bagay na ito. But we look unto Jesus. And to simply have that heart of rejoicing, ito po ay isang tagumpay sa ating buhay. To desire for that fullness of joy in our lives. This is what God wants to pour in this church. Because God is saying, at this very moment, you have spent so much time crying before God. You are a faithful church. You are a faithful church. Even in times of troubles, and even in times ng yung difficulty, you have turned to God. You have cried out to God. But this time, God doesn't just want you to cry for help, but God just wants you to cry cry for rejoicing, cry for joy. Amen? Na hindi na po groaning po yung ating shout, but it's a shout of victory. It is a shout of joy in our hearts. And so today, let's just open our hearts before God. Lord, you, you are here. Your presence is among us. And it is you who searches our hearts. Panginoon, nakikita mo ang iyong mga anak. Despite of where they have gone to, despite, Panginoon, ng marahil, mga kanya-kanyang mga struggle, but they are in this place because they believe in you. They are in this place because they believe that you are a faithful God. You are a God who reigns over all. Even all over, Panginoon, ng aming mga struggles and challenges sa aming buhay. 
You are the God who reigns. Today as I pray, God impressed in my heart that some of us do still have the deepest desire to experience the joy. To experience the joy, that inner joy. Some of us here, may mga pinagpray po tayo in the year 2021. But somehow, ngayon patapos na ang taon na ito, but we haven't received it. There are still battles na atin pong pinabattle. Until today, we don't see ourselves victorious over it. But God is saying to us, not on your own strength, not on your own ways, but through me, says the Lord. Through me, says the Lord. We need to lay down all these things, even our fears. Fears adding future. Fear for our family. Fear if, even in our spiritual life. Have I done enough for God? O marahil sa ating pong mga buhay, we don't see hope. Dahil kung ating pong lilingunin ang ating paligid, Mahirap po nating makita ang pag-asa at kaligayahan. Even in our families, we are always, we are discouraged. Marahil sa ating mga group of friends, hindi po natin na-receive o naririnig yung encouragement. And we always hear the complaint. We always hear yung hirap na mga bagay-bagay. But today, the Lord is saying to us, we need to surrender all these fears. Surrender all these anxieties in ating life. We are, fear, we are fearful of our work. Can we maintain? Can we be sustained? Can we sustain our family? Even our physical bodies. Even our relationships. Siguro sa tingin ng iba, we project the we. We have that joy. But deep inside us, in our secret place, when we are alone, we feel that deep sadness. And we cannot just simply rejoice. We cannot even give thanks. But today, the Lord is saying to you, my child, there's nothing to pretend about. You don't have to hide and pretend before me. Because I knew you from the beginning. Alam ko ang iyong pagpapagal. Alam, mo ang, alam ko ang bawat pangarap. Alam ko yung mga failures at discouragement mo. And today, God is among us and is standing at your back and is rubbing your shoulders. And the Lord is saying to you, my child, I am here. I know you. I know your deepest desire. Surrender all these things. Surrender all these things. All your battles. All your burdens. God is just waiting for you to surrender it before you. And today as you close your eyes, I want you to stand before God. The Lord is saying to us, we do not deny. We are here. 
Because God wants to hear you. God wants to heal you. God wants to take all your burden. God wants you to have the fullness of the joy. God wants to restore and renew your joy. Today we can come before God and speak. Even our secret struggles, you can say it to God. upon us no matter where we are no matter what is our struggle whatever anxieties and fears that we have even at this very moment even fear of the future fear of this pandemic the fear of this virus, even fear and anxiety of new things. God, you are bringing us in the new year. You are bringing us in a new place. You are bringing us in a new and a foreign place, Father. And we know there are a lot of things, Panginoon, na pinrepare niyo po sa amin. But God, in our heart, Painon, meron din po kaming mga takot. Meron din po kaming pangamba. Subalit sa araw na ito, God, we surrender to you all these things. To surrender to you all of these fears and our anxieties, even our sadness, our loneliness. Father, we give to you, God, and we surrender to you even the lies of the enemy. Father, that we maybe are alone, but Lord God, today as we face this year of 2022, 
Painon, i-prepare niyo po ang aming mga vessel. And we let go of the things of the past. We let go of all the pains of the past. We let go all of the struggles that we had in the past. And God, today we set our eyes on you. And it is the eyes of faith. It is the eyes of God, of trust. It is the eyes of peace and the heart of peace, Lord, that you have set in our hearts. It is the peace that transcends all understanding. It is the peace and the hope that is beyond our expectation, Panginoon. And God, I just pray in this moment for those who desire and pray for the finances, for their relationship, for their spiritual lives. Maging painoon sa kanilang emotional state. Father, today I pray that give us that heart that is willing to surrender. Today we can pray before God. And just surrender everything sa Panginoon. What are our fears? We can lay it all down sa Panginoon. And say to God, Lord, I give this all to you. I surrender, Lord, even my control. Some of us here, we are anxious even on things that we don't know. Because we are, we want to take control of things in our lives. We want to have that assurance. That's sometimes why we struggle in our lives. Because we want to take control on things. And we want things to happen exactly how we wanted it. How we desire of it. But today, the Lord is saying to us, put your trust in me. Let go of your control. But let God move. Let God move in your life. Open your eyes. Begin to think of what is pure. Begin to think of what is lovely. Begin to think of what is praiseworthy. Today, if in the past, you have been thinking of our failures, we may have been thinking, of our discouragement but today begin to count begin to pray of the things that you desire beginning this year beginning today what are the things that we are praying for today begin to speak it out begin to speak it out and declare it to yourself declare it in your future yes the, the, the song says you need to prophesy you need to declare you need to declare with the power of your words God will move. God will hear. And so begin to declare, even for your family, even for yourself, even for your wife, even for your husband. Do not miss this chance. Do not look at me or look at your neighbors. Look at Jesus in faith. Not just a ritual thing that we do. Today we stand before God and we speak by faith. By faith. Whatever that comes out in your mouth, God has the power to accomplish it. So we need to speak it out. What are the things that you want to experience this coming year? Even as this year ends, Lord, I want promotion. Lord, I want breakthrough in my relationship. Lord, I want my spiritual life to grow. Lord, I need that faith that comes from you. I need that trust. Lord, trust in you, not to myself, not on the people around me. Give us that peace, Father. That whatever lies ahead of us, we can still have peace. We can trust. We can rejoice. Father, I pray today and I bless this church because you are the God that is faithful 
And as you see, you respond. And God, you said that you love this church. Today, God is speaking to all of you. The Lord says, do not fear. Do not be anxious of things. Do not be fearful on the threats. Because the Lord is preparing for a greater things for you. But He wants to see your face. He wants to see how you trust in Him. As you continue to trust in Him, the Lord says, I am going to work in you miraculously and mightily. I am bringing you up. I am bringing you up. And I'm bringing you in a greater and a better place. And I have prepared greater things for you. The Lord says of faith, trust, trust in me. But as you join me, as you follow me, says the Lord, I want you to have the joy. I'm giving you that joy, that excitement. But before I do things, God says I'm filling you with joy. I am filling you with assurance. I am with you. My presence is with you. This presence of God tabernacles over you. In your journey, the Lord says, I will provide. I will make a way. I will make a way. And the years to come will be greater than before. But the Lord says, I need a greater vessel. I need a greater faith. I need a greater trust. I need a greater trust before you, from you. And today, the, the Lord says, I'm pouring my spirit on you. It's a spirit of revival. It is a spirit of joy. It is a spirit of excitement. From the children down to the old, from the new to the old, God says, I'm going to revive the spirit of this church and I'm going to bring the fire that wherever you go, it is not the place, but it is you, says the Lord. It is you because my presence is among you. My presence is in you and you're going to bring that revival in the fire wherever you go, says the Lord. Receive, receive that word, receive that word. Father, I thank you today that, God, you have brought the faith in this church. And, Father, we know that as we continue to journey with you this coming year, we will walk by faith. We will walk with joy. We will walk, Father, with satisfaction. We will walk with that assurance because we have a God that is faithful. We have a God that sees us. We have a God that will work mightily among us. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I pray that you bless everyone in this room. God, you see them. And they are your children. May you complete their joy this year. May you complete it. As they believe by faith, Painon, hayaan mo na maranasan nila. Hayaan mo, Panginoon, na makita nila sa kanilang mga mata. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, God, for the victories that you have done in us and the victories that you are about to do among us. Father, we thank you and we give you praise and we give you the glory. We give you the honor. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I pray for that as we gather this time of New Year, let's not just gather that we eat, but we begin to gather to give thanks. To 
pour out the joy even in our families, in our friends. Ikwento po natin yung mga victories po natin. Ikwento po natin yung joy na binigay ng Painon sa atin. Amen. And begin to encourage them. Amen. Begin to encourage them. God bless them. Thank you, Pastora Maricar, for that wonderful message. Very inspiring na message. I know na lahat tayo ay uh, punong-puno. Amen. So ngayon naman, let us pray for our Pastora Maricar. Hallelujah. So itoon po natin yung ating mga kamay as we pray for her, as we bless her. Hallelujah. Yes. Lord, we thank you for giving us Pastora Maricar today. Thank you for the message na ibinigay niya sa amin sa araw na ito, Panginoon. It is indeed a timely message for all of us, O God. And thank you for using her as a vessel for us to be encouraged today, for us to be joyful, to, for us, Lord, to be always uh, be thankful unto you, O God. We thank you, Lord, for the life of this sister, O God, na ginamit mo sa araw na ito. And Lord, I... Uh, we continue to speak blessing upon her, O God. At dalangin nga po namin, Panginoon, na uh, uh, patuloy mo nga pong i-extend ang kanyang tent, O God. Continue to use her mightily in your kingdom, O God. And continue, Lord, to uh, provide everything that she needs, Lord. Continue to bless her in all aspects of her life. Father, we thank you for the life of this sister. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Ayan, amen. Sino dito ang punong-puno ng joy after hearing the message of God? Hallelujah. And so we declare this victory na atin pong mga naranasan even this day. And what better way na ating ipapakita sa Panginoon kundi sa ating mga praises and thanksgiving. Amen po ba? So let's give God our endless praise today. Hallelujah! Clap your hands for Jesus. For He is good. For He is faithful. And we sing, You are God. You are God. And we lift You up. We keep singing. We keep praising, we won't stop giving all we got. It's your worthy of all glory, you are God. And we'll lift you up, we'll keep singing, we'll keep praising, we won't stop giving all we got. It's your worthy of all glory, oh, there is no other, you are forever. Lord over all, there's nobody like you, no one beside you. Yes, to you, Lord. To you. Let endless praise resound every night and day, and with no delay. Let endless praise resound. Shout it out to you. To you. Giving you a love, love, love for everything you've done, done, done. Oh, we give you all the praise. We lift you up, up, up. We're giving you a love, love, love for everything you've done, done, done. Lord, we give you all the praise. We lift you up. You are love, love, love for everything you've done, done, done. Oh, we give you all the praise to you. Let endless praise resound every night and day, and with no delay. Let endless praise resound.
Yeah. 